How's it going, Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me for a little ride along to the house. Just got off work, and we're going to do a little video today about budget boost and some other options out there. So stay tuned. Let's get into this thing. All right. So as most of you guys can probably tell, we are in Frostbite Express aka the tow truck for frostbite as many of you know this is a 2006 dodge 2500 cummins 59 and it is a little bit loud as a diesel is plus this one's straight piped so hopefully everybody can hear me okay so basically what we're going to talk about today is boost superchargers turbos um, what not money involved options that sort of thing uh, mainly you know this is pretty much for uh, you know 5.7 Hemi platform 392's not opposed to other manufacturers out there as the options the two options I'm going to mainly talk about today will pretty much cover a broad spectrum of different cars trucks you know manufacturers engines whatnot so as many know I am running the torque storm supercharger kit we've been running the nuts off that supercharger all season all summer long dialing the truck in trying out different tunes and uh, no doubt about it I got tons and tons of times time slips tons of videos tons of time on that supercharger so torque storm supercharger kit for pretty much anything out there okay no matter Dodge Chevrolet you know GM um, Ford whatever most of all their single supercharger kits are gonna cost you in the middle three thousand dollar range they range from about twenty nine hundred to about $3,200, somewhere right there. And it and it works. I mean, check out some of my videos. I did a full install on this thing. The supercharger works. It performs. No doubt about it. Finally, we might be able to get out of here. Come on, baby. People never want to let you out out here, I swear. They must be late for an important date. But anyway, Torque Storm Supercharger, three grand. Freaking works. That's all I can really say. Works well. It was easy to install. Great quality. It looks awesome. It works awesome. It sounds awesome. And best of all, it's pretty damn budget friendly. As majority know, I did my full install on Frostbite and we ended up being pretty much netted out the door under five grand. It was about $4,300, I think, roughly, after everything was said and done on it. Intercooler, piping, sensors, every little nut and bolt and cranny, everything out the door, we had about $4,300, $4,400 in it, roughly, to get a supercharger put on my 5.7 Hemi. 2011 Ram 1500 pickup truck works great the last time out at the track most of you guys seen the time slip seen the video if not the video is right there check in the description it should be on there but we ran mid 11s on that supercharger we ran an 11.6 on my 5.7 Hemi that is a stock block 5.7. Stock internals besides a camshaft. Stock pistons, stock rods, stock heads, stock throttle body, stock intake manifold. Lots and lots of stuff that was stock on that engine and we ran mid 11s in a damn pickup truck. That's a five speed. All right, keep in mind, mine is not the eight speed. If it was an eight speed, that probably would have been a 10 second pass. No doubt about it. But five speed, lots of uh, lots of restrictions for us five and six speed Dodge 
Ram trucks, Mopar fellas. The five and six speeds are not known to be the fastest ones out there. But we're making do with it. Soon, we're not gonna have a five speed anymore, but that'll be another video. We'll be doing a trans swap very, very soon. So, back on track, Torque Storm Supercharger works. It hasn't gave me any problems. I have had no belt slippage, no worn belts, nothing. No pulley failures, nothing yet. And we've put an entire season of racing on this supercharger. Not just crank, it, crank your truck up and go to work and baby it down the highway or whatever. We have put this supercharger on. We have driven this truck to try... Uh, we have driven this truck to car shows. We have taken this truck to the drag strip. And we have absolutely run the damn nuts off of this truck. Off of that supercharger. Off of my engine. And damn sure off my transmission. That's still somehow holding up. But anyway. The supercharger works. And for any other supercharger out there. You will not touch or come near to the dollar amount that you're going to spend trying to go with a torque storm supercharger pro charger is going to cost you tons more money a whipple is going to we're not even going to talk about a whipple a whipple is out of the equation whipple is a tremendous amount of money and it's just honestly we're not going to talk about whipple because it's, it's just it's too much money you're, you're going to be eight ten grand to put a whipple on top of a hemi and pretty much every car out there Pro chargers, you're going to be, depending on the kit, you're going to be probably around seven grand, somewhere right there, depending on the deal you get on it. So, honestly, Pro Charger or Vortec or a Rip Supercharger is going to be your next cheapest options, but you're still going to be well over five grand, um, kissing six thousand dollars. Torque Storm Supercharger, if you do it yourself, you put it together yourself, you do your own intercooler and everything like I did, you're going to be in the middle $4,000 range. Like I said, I did it for $4,200, $4,300, somewhere in there, and that included everything. Injectors, sensors, the supercharger kit, tuning, everything. Mid to low $4,000 range to go boost. And again, the supercharger definitely performs. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and talk up the Torque Storm Supercharger all day because that's what I'm running. I got a good old buddy, old pal, out there in Las Vegas. A lot of you guys know him, Mr. Joey Blagio, Mr. Taco, the Taco Man. He's got the big lifted up truck, you know, has nitrous kit on it as well like I do. And uh, he has recently went to a boosted setup. Still has his nitrous kit installed, just like we do on Frostbite. But he has made a boosted build. He has made a boosted setup for his truck that I have to literally congratulate him on because it's damn awesome. Looks awesome sounds awesome and it damn works unfortunately his track is closed for the season so he hasn't been able to get time slips and as a lot of people know i damn sure know when you go from nitrous to boost and all that stuff there's a lot of changes a lot of tunes to be revised lots and lots of stuff to go through so i'm sure when he gets to the track he's going to have to probably tweak that thing in a little bit but no doubt about it, it's going to get down the road and do what he wants to do. But anyway, check out his channel, Hot Damn Racing Team. And what he has built, guys, is a remote turbo setup. And it's getting dark out here. Don't even know if you guys can probably see me. Hopefully you can hear me. We'll do that. Maybe that uh, helps out a little bit. But... He has built a remote mount turbo for his Ram truck. Now his truck, like I said, is lifted. 
you know he's got big tires lift kit truck looks badass probably the cleanest damn truck in his state i guarantee it um but he built a remote mount turbo kit he's got tons and tons of damn videos on it literally showing you what you got to do to go through what he done Alrighty, fellas and fellas, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team, and if you're new here, welcome. All right, tonight I'd like to give you five reasons why I believe my rear mount turbo system is worth it, or at least worth it to me as a personal project. All right, uh, to get started, number one, um, self-gratification. Put the kit together myself, and I feel pretty good about it. All right, it works pretty decently. Um, number two, cost. Cost is pretty low. Um, number three, I like the way it sounds. Sounds pretty badass. Some of the sounds that have come out of it were unexpected, right? And uh, if I had a little bit more experience with that, I might have expected the sounds. Um, number four, my daughter enjoys it, all right? I enjoy that my daughter enjoys it, right? That is uh, pretty badass to me. Some good experiences being made there. And uh, number five, because hot damn badass, you know, that's a good reason right there. I like hot damn badass stuff. And if I can make it happen, I'm going to make it happen, Captain. All right. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all are badass. And I really do appreciate you of subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It would help further the mayhem here. All right. Hot damn hell yeah. Get some. He's running a low boost setup. I believe he's running around five PSI, if I'm not mistaken. There's some videos I still gotta get caught up on, guys. But turbo's pushing boost, no doubt about it. The turbo he's running will definitely make more than five pounds of boost if he wants it. I'm sure that bitch will crank up to probably 15, 20 PSI if he wanted to. And he did his build pretty much around the same range of money that we did for the supercharger for the torque storm um when i was talking to him the other day he's somewhere in it around the four thousand dollar range maybe slightly slightly over that but mid to low four thousand dollar range um very easily done and doing a remote mount turbo guys honestly it's time consuming, just like with everything, because you're pretty much making everything, fitting it yourself, but pretty straightforward and easy to do. And hell, he documented everything. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple options out there for people that can't afford to buy a Whipple or a Pro Charger or any of that mess, but they want to go boost and they want to look for some sort of a boosted build or path or something to look forward to something that's been done something that works and i think the two your two best cheapest options out there to go boost that works and performs is going to be going with a torque storm supercharger or building your own turbo setup whether it be a remote mount turbo like joey built or just a turbo setup in general um, even if it's not a remote mount turbo you can usually build a turbo setup pretty cheap turbos are are very very non-expensive anymore you can pick up turbos kind of all over the place on ebay everywhere you know turbos are honestly cheaper than superchargers so 
Where it gets expensive is your plumbing, your piping, your intercooler, your exhaust hookups, all that stuff. Um, so if many of you guys don't know the difference between a supercharger and a turbo, well, supercharger runs a belt. You have to have a belt running off the front of your engine, driving the pulley on the supercharger. That is how the supercharger works. You've got to have it running off of the belt system to turn the supercharger to make boost. Turbos, on the other hand, have no belts, no pulleys, none of that mess. They work strictly off the exhaust gas pressure. So they have to hook up to your exhaust. That is how a turbo works. And to make that happen, your easiest route is going with a remote mount turbo, in my opinion, just like Joey built, where you don't have to change your headers or your manifolds or mess with any of that shit. You can stick the remote mount turbo or just the turbo underneath the truck somewhere, all the way in the back, midway up. Um, I think Joey's is about midway up, somewhere right there. And you can feed it right off the single exhaust pipe. Um, so that way you get away from having to hook up, you know, both of your manifolds on your exhaust system to the turbo. So you save a bunch of money not having to mess with your headers or your manifolds or whatnot to try to feed the turbo. And you can just run it straight off your factory exhaust pipe underneath the vehicle. No matter what it is. It can be, again, it can be any brand, doesn't matter. They're all going to work basically the same way. But remote mount turbo is probably your cheapest way to go to make a turbo kit. Um, I'm over here blabbing and I got to get over to get on this highway. Come on, let me over. So anyway. I think we just made somebody mad, but oh well. Book them. So, remote mount turbo works. Looks cool, sounds cool. Budget friendly. Not hard to install. I'd probably rate it right up there with trying to mount on a centrifugal supercharger like the Torque Storm um, or any other probably supercharger kit out there. You know, some modifications necessary. You know, you're definitely not going to dive into that and uh, not expect to have to make something or tweak something or make something work or move something from where it was to a new place. You'll have to you'll have to mess with it. But again, if you're running a Ram truck, okay, I got a pretty good build on the Torque Storm of how it installed and how it functions, and Joey has a hell of a good build and videos on his remote mount turbo kit of how to get it hooked up, how to mount it, how to work it, how to make everything, you know, jive like it's supposed to. So, like I said, check him out. Um, now, the difference between remote mount turbo and a what you'd call basically, I guess, just a regular turbo or non-remote mount turbo Regular turbo kit's gonna mount underneath the hood, around the engine bay somewhere, uh, kind of like the supercharger would. But again, you're gonna have to hook your exhaust system. You're gonna have to run both of your manifolds, your exhaust manifolds, headers, long tubes, whatever. They're gonna have to run into one or conjoin to feed the turbo all the exhaust pressure that it can. Um, so that's where it gets a little bit more expensive to do a traditional turbo application build. But I still feel if you was to do one yourself, you're going to be cheaper than buying a Whipple or probably a Pro Charger for sure. Um, I think you'll still be cheaper. But this is, this. keep in mind guys, this is you got to put in the footwork. You're going to have to, you know, get a your piping and bolt that stuff together and make it all work yourself. That's how I did it. That's how Joey did it. And that's going to keep your cost way, way, way down for sure. Um, cause it gets you 
it gets you away from having to have a machine shop or something like that or a shop bend pipe weld pipe custom fabricate stuff that is where going to boost gets very expensive if you don't do it yourself again not hard to do trying to get on the highway again on this ramp if we can get down there we'll see but in a nutshell guys that is pretty much today's video wanted to go over two options that i feel is very budget friendly to build a boosted application especially on your ram truck um where at least i know there's two people that's done it that has many videos on the subject of how to do it how to make it happen and proof that it works and that sort of shit um so hell yeah hot damn yeah definitely want to give joey a hell of a round hell of applause you built a hell of a turbo setup there dude and again every video you've posted on that thing sounds like pure bliss that some bitch just whistles and howls and just sounds like fucking gates of hell's opening and shit's about to go down <laughs> kind of like the torque storm uh blow off valve when that joker opens up holy shit it, you would have thought the atmosphere just blew up but oh think that's gonna do it for today guys two options right there budget boost fairly budget friendly on the scale of one to ten as far as you know can the average guy do this or put it together or whatnot i would give both setups about a good solid seven a good solid seven on skills needed to bolt this on so i would say if you're a guy that does his own brakes maybe has pulled a cylinder head off and did a head gasket before um maybe a couple timing belts or chains or something like that i would probably bet a hefty hefty amount that you could get this done yourself um on the torque storm supercharger build i did it did not require very it did not require hardly any welding at all um there was one part i had to weld on to to hook up the blow off valve so that does require a little bit of welding but if you don't know how to weld you can get somebody to weld that up for you pretty simple and usually to weld something of small of that caliber you're going to be probably it's probably going to be a flat rate around 50 to 80 bucks something like that um joey i think he did weld maybe a couple few things but i'm pretty sure it was minimal i think he clamped or band clamped a lot of stuff together like i did my setup um, again, I got to catch up on a lot of his videos, but pretty much a, a clamp and band dilly. I'm sure he welded a couple things on there, but very minimal. Um, and again, he's got videos of everything he did on it. So go check his channel out. It's in the link. It's in the description. And it'll definitely help you out. If you're the guy that has to have a turbo, but you don't have a ton of money, and you want to maybe tackle this yourself he has a option for you if you want a supercharger something that works like a vortex or a pro charger or whatever torque storm will hook you up they have very very detailed instructions of how to install that supercharger I showed the instructions in some of my videos, and again, they're very, very detailed. It's probably some of the best instructions I've had for trying to put something together in a long time. Like, no shit, some of the instructions you get on like trying to put furniture and crap together is an absolute joke. 
these guys put some real legit instructions together that can pretty much help any regular Joe figure it out. And uh, hell yeah, that's my take. Hope you guys like it. Hope you enjoy it. Hopefully, if you're wanting to go boost and you're trying to spend about half of what normal people spend going boost, hopefully you check out these two options. I'm pretty sure they're going to get you where you want to go. No doubt about it. I know mine's working. Joey's is definitely working. And mine definitely has much more to go with uh, time slips. I'm pretty sure we're going to see some hella fast slips coming up soon, especially after some changes and uh, some boost pressure changes in the future as well. But definitely, definitely a thumbs up in my book for the Torque Storm and Joey's remote mount turbo system. Definitely a thumbs up. And uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to quit yapping. We got more videos coming up soon. So as always, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get the notifications. Also, hit that like button. It helps grow the channel when you hit that like button. And throw a comment out there. Tell me which option you would like to see on your Ram or your Challenger Charger 300 your whatever you got I don't care if it's not a Mopar whatever you got tell me if you'd rather have a turbo or a supercharger on your car or your truck so until the next time guys stay safe out there and we'll see you peace now let's pull this bitch up and get to the house let her read let her read Thank <laughs> you.